Upstream ingress has been your number one problem since the early days of two-way cable networks. Your techs know how to use the divide-and-conquer method to find ingress sources, but it's slow, expensive, and disruptive to services. But now with Noise Track, you can keep the good parts of the process while eliminating the bad parts. In traditional ingress hunting, a tech will drive out to the node to determine which leg has the greatest ingress contribution. Ideally, they'll do this using return test points within the active. But way too often, this involves pulling a pad, dropping the return for each leg, which obviously disrupts services. Once the noisiest leg is identified, they drive to the next active down that leg and repeat the process until they have isolated the source. This can take 30 minutes or more per stop, depending on the distance they need to drive between amps, traffic, parking, etc. Sometimes actives are inside of limited access MDUs, and you can waste hours waiting on the superintendent to let you in, or even after reschedule for access days later. Text must then either terminate the return or pad it down to restore services for the rest of the node until they can get inside. This process works, but it wastes a lot of time and money driving from amp to amp while leaving subscriber services impacted for far too long. But now there's a better way. With Noise Track, techs can use the same process except virtually visit the nodes and amps to identify the worst leg versus driving to each one. Noise Track users can select and remotely activate ingress control switches common to nodes and amplifiers from leading vendors to attenuate individual legs one at a time to find the noisy one. Think of it as a virtual eye-stop probe for actives, accessible remotely with a single click on the screen of their existing go-to ingress tool, ExpertTrack. Using this process, techs can quickly step through the plant virtually to isolate the noise to a narrow section of plant before rolling a truck. If the noise is coming from a limited access MDU, it's not a problem with noise track. The tech can remotely attenuate the offending leg to temporarily restore services on the node until the building can be accessed to address the root cause. In this way, noise sources can typically be tightly localized and services temporarily restored within 15 minutes of the initial ingress detection. So with noise track, operators can drastically reduce OPEX by replacing driving around with clicks on a screen. They can quickly restore services for ingress outages, even those originating inside of limited access buildings, and prevent additional service impacts caused by traditional ingress hunting practices. Contact your Viavi sales representative today for more information on how noise track can help you achieve double-digit OPEX reductions.